Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome to the House of Dolls. It is a messy house today. As you can see, there's just stuff all over my desk, but that is because this past weekend I did a toy show. So I had to take my shelf that I normally have next to my desk with me to display stuff and it's just pure chaos. Like my whole living room is just a mess of dolls and papers and all this stuff everywhere. I really need to get organizing. But today I just wanted to hop on here really quick and talk about the Boo Original Creep Production dolls from Monster High. Also, before I even get into that, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. That would be great. I just got out of the shower. I have my hair wrapped up in a t-shirt. I use t-shirts to uh, dry my hair. They say it's better for your hair. So, you know, I'm trying to preserve whatever I've got. I don't have my makeup on. I was going to do like a get ready with me chit chat, but I kind of don't feel like getting ready. I was going to maybe film some videos today, but I don't know. I'm just not in the mood to do it. I had a really kind of busy weekend and yeah, I feel like I need to organize my stuff first and get my shelf back up and put everything on there before I can actually like focus and film the way I want. But anyways, I'm just rambling on. I wanted to show you before I talk about Monster High, um, what I got at the toy show. So I did a toy show, like I said. I actually did not make any money and I was really disappointed. Um, so I don't know if I'm gonna do that again. But I did find this little gem. It is the 2011, the first ever release of the Disney's Animator Collection Cinderella doll. So I got her for $30, which is literally like what she would have costed um, when she came out most likely. And she's so adorable. I couldn't believe that I saw her. She was the only item that I seen at the toy show that I wanted. There is some Monster High dolls as well, but they were too expensive. And when you're not making money, it's hard to like want to spend money. So she was what I caved in and bought, but she's so adorable. Um, so I got lucky. I got lucky with her. I can't wait to unbox her and show you guys. But I now kind of want to get every Cinderella. She's kind of like started my whole um, Disney animator collection thingy majig vibe. So yeah, just wanted to quickly share that with you guys. I have so many videos to film. So many. And like I said, I've just been, I've just been busy. Things have been really hectic. And I feel like I'm so behind. I have all the Magic Mixies Pixlings videos to film. I now have all four of the Boo Original Creep Production dolls to film, which I'm gonna talk to you about in a few minutes after I'm done getting everything out. I have the two Kylie Jenner Bratz dolls to open up. I still have the giant Amaya Rainbow High doll to open. I have the Tweevils to open. What else? The Mermaid doll. I have Gulia. I have to open up my Gulia doll. What else? And then there's just other stuff, even Aurora. I have so much stuff to film and I'm running out of content to edit to upload until I film those. So I need to get moving on it. Um, like I said, I was considering filming today, but I feel like I just need to relax and just get organized. And then maybe tomorrow I can do some videos, but we'll see. Anyways, Let's get into the whole point of me coming on here. But I did want to update you guys so you kind of know what's going on. All right. I got a lot of stuff. Let's talk about this, okay? I'm gonna stick that there. Oh, there's no space for anything. Just put that there, we got her. she stay up there we're gonna just hope she doesn't fall my luck will knock her over okay so the boo original crew productions where do i start okay so 
They were supposed to come out September 13th, 2024. As we know, that's the year we're in right now, which was this past Friday. I am currently filming this on Monday, the 16th. So um, I think I'm gonna put this out tomorrow, which is Tuesday the 17th. So that way, yeah, you guys are updated with what's going on. So they were supposed to release on Friday the 13th. And I had known already that Toys R Us locations here in Canada already had the dolls. Um, each store was only given three of each character and some stores only had some characters and not all four. So I had plans to pick up all four dolls in another city that had them because the one in my location only had Frankie and Laguna. I have the very first original Frankie and Laguna doll. I actually have them right in front of me over there. And just so you guys know, Frankie and the original Frankie look nothing alike. So after I do unboxing videos on all these, I'm also going to make like side-by-side -side comparison videos for Laguna and Frankie. Anyways, I had a feeling I was going to knock one over. Okay, so um, yeah, I knew that certain stores had all of them. And what happened was... I was gonna go to the store and they open at 10 a.m. This is out of town for me. Um, so I was planning for this, but then I had a job come up for 9 a.m. that same day. And I couldn't turn this opportunity down. So I was like, I guess I'm not gonna get the dolls. My friend, uh, Crybaby Lily, was gonna see if she could try to get us the dolls um but yeah I was like whatever I have to like work it's okay so I had to go out of town for my job and I ended up running late because you know life just likes to throw little roadblocks at me but it worked out because the people I was working with were also running late so it was about like 9 50 and obviously Toys R Us opens at 10 and I'm waiting. And I Google searched Toys R Us and found out there was a Toys R Us store three minutes from where I was working. So I messaged my boss and I said, hey, while I'm waiting, is it okay if I quickly run to a store? I'll be right back, it's so close. And they're like, yeah, no problem. So I drive over to Toys R Us. It's now 9.55 in the morning. I walk up to the door and the lady was nice enough to open up the doors and let me in a couple minutes early and I was like, thank goodness. So at the back of the counter, which is at the front of the store, they had um, three Frankies and three Lagunas. And I asked her, I was like, is this all you guys have? And she said, yeah, they only gave us three of each character. And I was like, do you have Dracula and Claudine? I needed Dracula and Claudine more than any of them because I never owned the original of them. And she went in the back and she found two Draculauras and then three Claudines. So I picked the best ones. They were genuinely very wonky, like really bad. Um, so I picked the best fa uh, four that they had. And then I did ask them if I can get extras. So Crybaby Lily could have some and save her a trip to the store, but they said I was only allowed to buy one of each, which makes sense because if they only have three of each dolls, why would they sell one person multiples? I get it. So I bought all four and then I went to work after and I was really happy and excited because I didn't really know or think I was going to get these dolls, but it worked out. Now I have all four of them and I'm very excited to unbox and review them for you guys. Now, the weird thing about this whole release is a few days before the 13th, Mattel announced that they were going to push back the release of the Boo Original Creep Productions to November 22nd, which is like two months away. And when I heard this news, I was so confused because I was like, I know that Toys R Us has the dolls and I've, I've tried to buy them in the past and I think I posted a video about it but they wouldn't let me buy it. It said like, you can't sell until the 13th. So I ended up calling them and they said that they're still selling them on the 13th. So 
point of it is I did get the Boo Original Creep Productions, but I don't know why the release date got pushed back two months because I'm wondering, are they going to manufacture it through a different company? Are they changing them? I mean, there was a lot of wonkiness and then Frankie doesn't look like Frankie at all. Like she's, she's cute in her own way, but if you compare the two, they don't really look anything alike in my opinion. But I'm really curious to know why they pushed it back and what's going on. So is this gonna be just like a limited release of whatever these dolls are that they produced and then they're like remaking them? I don't know, if you guys know, let me know in the comments down below cause I was confused, but I am happy that I have them. I think I'm still gonna buy them in November as well because I only have one of each and especially if they're different, I do want one of each of them, maybe even two of each, but we'll see. Um, I know they ended up releasing the Cleo and Nephra two pack on Friday, but I didn't buy it cause these cost me over $200. So, yeah, but I just want to know if you guys know what is going on, why they pushed the date back, what's up with that, and also tell you that I did manage to get all four of the characters on the 13th, which is pretty crazy, but yeah, that is my little chit-chat, my little update. Um, like I said, I'm going to put this video out probably tomorrow, which is Tuesday the 17th, so um Hopefully I can get some videos filmed for you guys and get them out soon. But like I said, I've just been busy. My allergies have been bad. I've been working a lot. It's just been, it's just been a hectic week and weekend. So I need a reset. I need to relax. I need to put my shelf back so I can just organize my messy life. But yeah, here's a little quick sneak peek of the dolls before I hop off here. So this is Miss Draculaura. I was most excited for her because she's literally like my favorite Monster High character, or at least one of them. And the weird thing is, I swear, I swear I had her. I swear I had her. Like I remember holding Count Fabulous and her little closed umbrella and her boots. I remember her boots. But the weirdest thing is I've never actually had her, but I have a memory of having her. Isn't that crazy? I swear I shifted timelines to a timeline where I don't have the original. Even my mom feels like I had her, but I would never have gotten rid of a Monster High doll. I literally have every single box from every single Monster High doll I've ever owned still to this day. I've never given one away. I got them all in high school. They were all kept away so perfectly. So like, it's impossible, but I have this weird memory of having her, but yeah. So I'm glad I have her. Can't wait to get her out of the box. Um, I wanna film like a bunch of different content with these dolls. So I have to just plan it out. Like I wanna do some shorts and stuff like that. So I'm gonna take my time with them, but you can just be on the lookout for my videos and they will be individual videos of these dolls. Cause I always like to just focus on one doll per video. Is that weird? I don't know. But yes, this is Miss Drag. Um, here is the Frankie that I told you doesn't look anything like the original Frankie doll. Like, she's cute, but let me get Frankie. I'm just gonna show you really quick. Okay, let me see. Like, they don't look the same at all. Like, the new Frankie has a very like narrow, tall face and like taller eyes. Whereas like OG Frankie has more like a wider face and elongated eyes. The hair is so different, but like OG Frankie is, she's superior, like so good. <laughs> but Luguna was actually my first doll. Frankie might've been my second Monster High doll. I can't remember, but like, she's so cute. One day I'm gonna do a video on all my original Monster High dolls, just so you guys know. It's, um. It's long overdue. I just, I have a lot of videos in my mind that I wanna make and that I'm planning for, but I just need to get caught up and I feel like I just never get caught up with filming. All right, next up we have Miss Laguna. So I got the best looking one. Like I said, I got the best looking of each of them. I try to get the least wonky, but she's cute. And honestly, she looks pretty close to the original. I hate her hair though. 
They have her like bangs um, tied up really high and then it's got such a blunt cut where it like flicks out at the end. And I don't know why they did that. It just looks like they, they rushed it, but that's her. And then the back of her box. So cute, I can't wait to like compare the two of them. And last but not least, I was also really excited for Miss Claudine. Um, my Claudine is a little wonky for me. She's probably my most wonky doll out of the Cree Productions that I bought. But I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to get a better one. So I think I'm just going to stick with her. Um, and then, you know, get another in the future. But here she is. Let me know in the comments down below if you think she's super wonky or you think she's okay. Like I said, she's she's pretty decent. Like the other ones were honestly so terrible that like I would rather like no Claudine instead of buying those terrible ones. But yeah, like she's she's decent. She's just not perfect because I'm extremely picky. But there she is again up close. Sorry for the reflection. I'm also excited to get her out of the box. I'm excited for all of them, but like the Dracula and Claudine I've never had. So they're extra exciting for me to get out of the box. But yeah, that is uh, it for my video, you guys. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. Stay tuned for all my videos on the Blue Original Creep Production dolls. I'm really excited to unbox them. And also stay tuned for all the other videos I mentioned that I still have to film and upload. Let me know which one you want next. Um, I feel like I need to do Gulia ASAP because she's already been out and everyone's already got her. Um, so she would be a good one to do. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do next. I will figure it out. But I love you all so much. Hope to see you in the next video, and I also hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Bye, everyone.